right, ladies and gentlemen, on Touch Wave Facial, we bring you nothing but the kings. And coming to the stage right now is one of Africa's biggest. There's no need to lie. They already know he's in the house. They are quite excited. And it took us quite a while to get him because he's that big and he's that busy. Please welcome onto the Touch Wave Facial for the very first time. The one, the only, sweet voiced, absolutely melodious, very proverbial and making sense. The one, the only, Alako Meji. Nice! <laughs> I lack for something. I lack for many things. <laughs> I love that song. Don't you guys love that song? It's brilliant. So how do you feel when you listen to that song and, and you find that that green was there and that green is no more? How does that make you feel? Um, it's absolutely sad when you, when you listen to a song that you've done and the, the, the guy that you did it with is, is passing and it's, uh, it's absolutely sad, nothing to it. Okay, so does that, mean, does that mean that you don't like to play the song at parties or you don't like to listen to it or something? No, there's no way you can stop the song going. People love the song and it just keep the memory of that green in your mind and every point in time when you listen to that song or when you listen to his voice, you just have to remember that there's someone called that green. All right, remember there's someone called that green. Always remember that. Nice. Thank God your hands are long. This is the Comedy Bible. Okay, I didn't look at You didn't look at I think. And you're supposed to tell the truth and nothing but truth. So nice, as they're doing cut, if you will place your uh, closer hand here on the Bible, just play it. Do you promise to tell the truth and nothing but the absolute truth so help you? Uh, so help me God. <laughs> you're not comedy still. He's saying, yeah, so help me God. You promise. Put your hands together for the His promise. <laughs> Man, so tell me, I heard that, uh, is it true or not? Somebody told me, somebody told me that you actually wanted to be a Fuji musician. That yes. I wanted to sing Fuji. Yeah, and correct. that when you went to play in the Bado, something happened. Not in the Bado, actually. Uh, please tell us that story. Let us know where. It's in Abel Kuta. Okay, what happened? Um, I went for a gig in Abel Kuta. I can remember it's in uh, Okeg Bay, or it's a leg Bay in Abel Kuta. And um, there's this artist called Morufo Nuru. You know, the guy, the guy performed before us and um, the same mic, the same equipment. We climbed the stage and I low to the mic, my voice was, wasn't coming out. Ah? This is confirmed, not, nobody say go come. <laughs> my voice wasn't coming out. The other guy that was with me, the drummers, the, the Sakara, the Omele, the Accord, nothing was coming out. We left the stage, the guy come back on stage and everything was booming. Again. <laughs> In case, in case you don't live around here, that is known as African Bluetooth. <laughs> the Bluetooth you wish from far. <laughs> Just Bluetooth. But really, were you good at Fuji? Um, to some you, you look like you have that kind of voice. Well, to some extent, I would say I'm, I'm good. Could you, still, could you still remember one or two lines? If you had to, could you still sing one or two lines? Emila, the contingent of Fiki, your bad I like the contingent of Fiki. I think you would have been quite good too. But it's best the way you are, man. It's absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Thank okay, you. now I know you're from Ogbomo Show. Yeah. We're from the same place. It's from Ogbomo Show. I'm from Ogbomo Show. So it's Ogbomo Show Parapo. Confirm. Clap for the Ogbomo Show boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, actually, my dad will kill me. I'm from a little village very close to Ogbomo Show called Ajawa. All, all of us do that. You know you all do it. Once you come from a little village near the big town, when they ask you where you come from, you claim the big town. Uh -huh. So that, <laughs> that's it. All right, so uh, did you grow up there? Were you born in Ogomosho? No, I was born in Lagos, Bariga. You were born in Bariga? Bariga, confirmed. Okay, so where do all these your proverbs and Yoruba things come from? Um, I learned all that from my stepmom. She's in her late 80s now. Uh, you know, while growing up in Bariga, then I used to sell atta, and um, she's she's a lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Say that again. You used to do what? I'm on tile atta esha. Ojulu atta wa esha atta wa. Wait, wait. You used to sell pepper. 
When you say self do you mean you used to carry it on your head? I I said, you. <laughs> 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 that the one they put the pepper inside is called lamb baby. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh my God. So you actually go around eh, right, uh, uh, <laughs> and see what you are today. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's very good because I, I think I know a lot of Yoruba proverbs and you always come across as if you know more than me. So I thought to myself, when nice comes on the show, I'll trade you a few Yoruba proverbs. You tell me one, I'll tell you one. You tell me one, I'll tell you one. I can tell you, I can guarantee you, you'll be the one that will win because it's your show. Oh, you think I'll be the one that win? <laughs> but but these Yoruba proverbs, you know them to yourself or you go and recite them before you sing? I, I don't recite them because it's in me already, it's in built. Okay. You know, when you're being tell, told all those things, that's because there will be nothing they will tell you or they will instruct you to do anything without a proverb or an adage that goes along with it. I'll be like so my father. all those days, you just hear them and you just push it aside. But now when you're trying to be creative, you're trying to do something different, then that's why I go back to all those idioms and expression and, and I try to bring it back and make sense with it. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So tell me, first of all, uh, what's alakpomeji? I know it's part of your uriki, but what does it mean literally? Uh, literally, alakpomeji means two pockets, one, two. But for me, as a musician, I need a mic and a speaker for my voice to be heard. Okay. For a man on the desert, you need food and water to survive. So for a, for a man, lati shock of fire, only the way So it depends, it goes on. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but that's cool. Uh, taking it from there, uh, I, I, hope to, I hope to get married very soon, right? I hope to get married very soon. I'm saying it again. People keep asking me, why do you keep saying on the show you hope to get married? Uh, like they say in Yoruba, in Tibanduni, in Longpo, Loroeni, which means that the things that uh, are key to you, the things that concern you, automatically become the things you think about, you talk about, become your priority, so to speak. So that's why I keep talking about marriage, because I want to marry very soon. Amen? Amen. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now, <laughs> now, now, having said that, I don't want to go deep into you, but, but what, what are, am I to be afraid uh, because, I mean, you're one of the people that I think is, I, I think you're pretty much a cool guy. I think you're pretty much a, I don't define you where I define some boys. You do all right. <laughs> I mean, so if you, who I look like that, I mean, uh, you got married and you're not married anymore. Uh, is there anything you would tell me or tell anybody there who wants to get married? What would you tell us to look out for? Well, um, for all those who want to get married, um, I think um, it's a good thing to get married. And according to the Bible and Quran, we all need someday, somehow, we need to get married. But what, what you guys need to look at is um, you need to look at who you're getting married to. And um, note, note, I repeat again, once you get married, it's not about you again. Because marriage is about the family. It extends. It's okay. about your mother-in-law, okay. grandpa's in law It's not about you both again. Yeah. So selfishness has to be removed. Okay. So that's just it. It's a good thing. It's a lovely thing. It's a good thing. Selfishness has to be removed, and that is it. Uh-huh. Okay, now, so, 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 now that you're single, how is it? Uh, I hear that breaking up, uh, breaking up when you're dating self is very hard. Talk much less of when you divorce. Somebody told me that it's actually the most painful thing that you can go through as a person. So how is it now that you're single? Uh, I think now I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I've got over it. I'm, You've I'm gotten over well. it? Yeah. Okay, it seemed you threw yourself into music all that time. What else can I do? What, what can I do again if I don't do that? Abby? What else can you do? Yeah, that's the only thing that is there for me to do. But for me right now, I think I've, it's the past tense. I've moved on and I'm enjoying my life. You're enjoying your life. So, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> so, uh, are you going to get married again? And I didn't say soon, no, nice. Nah. You're not going to get married again? Nah. Never again? Nah, nah. All right, nice. You're one of the more wonderful guests that I've had. And I know you want to hear nice sing. You want to hear nice sing, right? Yeah. When we come back, Nice will be doing us one of his wonderful songs. The song is doing is called. Not be mistake. Not be mistake. It's not a mistake. We'll be right back. <laughs>